treatment of people's spine some can be somewhat invasive. So we, we try as many conservative things as we can, physical therapy, medications, exercise, weight loss, things like that. Those help most patients. And then some patients who have very severe disease, they have such severe and debilitating pain that we have to move towards invasive options like surgery. What stem cells offer us the ability to do is be able to treat that disease process with just an injection of uh, the patient's own stem cells, which allows the, the reparative process to occur. I personally believe that cell-based therapies are the future for regenerative medicine. The, the, the approach that the Trinity Center has for, for minimally invasive techniques is something that I, uh, I'm a firm believer in and the approach is one that uh, I have, have personally been involved with developing. Stem cells have been uh, researched uh, for many years and they're used in many areas of disease processes like tumor surgery for example. Um, and so what we found in the spine is that most studies show that about 70% of patients have improvement after stem cell uh, treatments. So our, our mission is really to try to repair the damage parts of the spine as opposed to reconstructing them with surgery. And so that's what our stem cells are meant to do. All humans have in their bodies a reservoir of stem cells that help in re regenerating and, and uh, revitalizing various tissues. Adult-derived stem cells are localized in a number of tissue compartments within your body. The most prevalent one is the bone marrow compartment. Those stem cells have the ability to form all of, this, of the various tissues of the musculoskeletal system. So in this case, it would be disc tissue. Usually we think of certain bones like the iliac crest is one of the easiest anatomical sites for harvesting those cells. Under local anesthesia, we would harvest your bone marrow from the back of your hip. The harvested bone marrow aspirate is then taken to our lab, whereby they are spun down in a centrifuge, and we isolate just the marrow stromal cells. The stem cells themselves are isolated from the rest of the red blood cells, the white blood cells, and the serum. We then incorporate this biocompatible carrier that binds specifically to the MSCs or the stem cells in such a fashion that we have a very high proportion of the stem cells sticking to our carrier. We process this for a period of hours, short time, usually three hours at most. And at that point, they are ready to then be re-injected back into the disc so that a needle is inserted into the disc space, which is the nucleus pulposus of the disc, and the cells are injected at a certain concentration. Stem cells have to be managed in a fully sterile laboratory, so that's not really available to most uh, surgeons or doctors. Um, however, our PhD on staff, Dr. Dan Grandy, uh, runs a research laboratory in New York, and in order to uh, benefit our patients, we built a stem cell research laboratory uh, here on the facility site. The lab at the Trinity Stem Cell Institute is a state-of-the-art, brand-new facility that has all the most up-to-date equipment and allows for customized or personalized medicine in the regenerative area to occur. So the patient can come in, have his or her stem cells isolated, and within a short time, that patient can have them re-injected for relieving disc pain, as well as having them stored cryogenically frozen for the future for their use in other applications.